Good afternoon, everyone. I am broadcasting this year of Mishnah Yomis early tonight because uh, I'm going to be speaking for a Catskills, um, not, not Catskills, Monroe Hatzala, to give Chizik this evening. So we will be actually be broadcasting the DAF from Monroe, but uh, we, uh, we are uh, just getting ahead by doing the Mishnah Yomis ahead now, and uh, we are sponsored, as always, by uh, the Fisher family, Lila Nishmas Basi Bas Robert, Shlomo Ben Abram Alevi, Pero Bas Ruvain, and Neshama Shed Avon Aliyah. We're also sponsored, Lila Nishmas Elchan Bunim Ben Naftali Benish, and for Eli Melech Ben Eliezer. We learn the Fush Lema for Elio Moshe Mechai Esau, for the Schus of Rav Ram Yom Benish Ben Malki Yudas, and family, by the Klugman family, and Rufu Shalema from Meir ben Chayasara. So the sixth parak starts off, Hanoidim in a if you vow not to eat that which is cooked. Now cooked is specific, regular cooked food, and therefore mutter batzali, you're permitted to have roasted food, uva shaluk, and heavily seethed, overcooked food. That's the way Rav learns. Others learn that shaluk means undercooked. Oimer koinim tafshil she'eni tayim, if a person says that I won't taste tafshil, now tafshil, uh, the Gemara tells us in those days referred to a food that you ate with bread. It was like a soft food, almost dippable. So thus, aser b'maise kadeira rach, you're only forbidden to have a liquidy cooked food. In other words, that had like a gravy, umutaba'ava, but you're permitted to eat food that's thick that you don't eat with bread. Umutiba beis teramita. Now, beis teramita is a special egg cooked many, many, many times that a person should be able to swallow for medicinal purposes. The egg would be uh, retain its hardness because it was cooked so many times, and it would be excreted by the body, and then the doctors would be able to examine from it uh, certain whether there's certain infections in the digestive excretory tract. And you're also permitted to have gourd that was baked in ash. Mishnah Beis tells us, If person vows to have something uh, made in a pot, now, Maise Kedera implies that it was cooked for a very long time in a pot, uh, boiled for a long time, uh, like, for example, uh, grits or rice, so ain't also mamaisa resachta. You're only forbidden for that which was boiled for a long time. But Omar koinim ayoyre the kadeira. If he says I vow not to have what just was put into a pot, now that could even be if it was put in a pot for a very short time. Shaini time that I won't taste it. Also bekol amisbashlim the kadeira. Anything that's cooked in the pot, even if it was cooked very quickly. Rabbi say um, we uh, we want to ask we. We did not receive a sponsor for this week's Chumash year, so we're looking for a sponsor for next week's Chumash year on Pekude Chazak. Uh, so please, if you can uh, get back to me, 718-916-3100, rmmwsi at aol.com. Thank you for joining us, and have a wonderful day.